Welcome back. This is Sino Sino's Organized Chaos, and this is my 44th vlog. <laughs> so welcome back. I know my videos have been being posted a little late. It's because I I tried to keep up on that <laughs> on the lip drip one so that way I could get it posted because I knew everybody else was probably going to be doing it, you know, within a week or two after they had their little decals. So I did that and then <laughs> all my other stuff kind of got pushed behind. So I don't like posting so late in the week for my tutorials so next week's tutorial will be between tuesday and like thursday so in in the middle of the week like i typically do but my uh parents went home last wednesday we had a very very nice time together it was it was really great seeing them it went by so quick that that week went by so quick i don't know why it, it really flew by but um a lot of you were asking, you know, what kind of woodwork and stuff that he does. And he actually does a lot of different, and, and my mom too, they do all kinds of crafting and stuff like that. Um, I think he has an area, he, he's trying to figure out how to sell his stuff because my mom's going to be retiring in a couple of years because he's already retired. My mom's going to be retiring in a couple of years and their plan is to during the winter up there, because, you know, it gets really cold. I mean, it's cold everywhere right now, but their plan is to do up a bunch of crafts during the winter. And then all summer, they just kind of travel around to different craft shows and, and make money, kind of that extra money that way once they're both retired. So I can kind of show you guys. I have some stuff that uh, he's made for us. Like he makes uh, rocking Harleys and you know, like little chairs for kids and stuff like that. So he is an amazing woodworker and my mom does really neat crafts as well. I'll have to see. Um, and he does lighted signs as well. So like, but he's more like old school. So it's like, you got to call him. <laughs> you need to call him and, and conversate with him. You can't just, you know, get on the computer and do it that way. <laughs> he, he's very old school when it comes to that. <laughs> So I'll have to see if I can find that information and see if he wants to pass that out and I'll put it in the description if, if he says that's okay. <laughs> All right. But I mean, he, he's seen how well I did like on Etsy and stuff like that. But honestly, I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him on, on a platform like Etsy selling his stuff. It's, I don't know. And not only that, like shipping would be so much, especially because his things are all made out of wood and it'd be kind of expensive to ship. So I think the craft show thing is kind of more their thing because <laughs> then they can interact with their customers and, you know, the customer takes it and they don't have to worry about shipping and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I've been playing around with the idea for a while now, for like the last month, I've been kind of hemming and hawing about it. And I'm sure my husband's sick of hearing me talk about it. <laughs> about redoing some of my first videos that I did here on YouTube because we're around in the corner and it's already almost a year since I started my channel here. And <laughs> looking back on some of my videos, I'm like, oh, oh my. <laughs> but hey, you gotta work with what you, what you have. And I did not expect so many people to subscribe to my channel. As you guys know, I, <laughs> I you know, would have been happy with, I think a thousand by Christmas when I first started in April. So now here I am with so many more people. <laughs> but I was thinking about redoing some of those tutorials that I did when I first started just, you know, cause I got better camera angles and, and whatnot now. So I don't know, uh, maybe explain it a little bit better on, on certain stuff. So be on the lookout for that stuff. I'm thinking about my red, white, and blue hydro dip that I did. Cause there's a lot of detail to that. A lot of detail to that one. Um, what else was there? Maybe redo my, my sunset stuff like that. Just, you know, just, just a little bit better. I don't know. <laughs> you guys like it. I'm not going to delete it or anything. I'm going to leave it out there. I just thought something a little bit more, Maybe redoing some of my other things too, like how to do an ombre, even though, I mean, I kind of show it on that one, but ombre only, you know, so people can refer to that if they need to. So just, just stuff like that. If you have any ideas, <laughs> videos, 
<laughs> you'd like me to kind of redo that that you've seen just let me know and, and I'll add it to my list but I don't want to do too many just a couple just some of my favorite ones so maybe my be kind tumblr I could redo that one <laughs> everything was like I don't know I could have done like I said I did the best I could <laughs> anyways I have some orders I gotta pack up I'm trying really hard not to overwork myself uh, you guys are like don't overwork yourself just I'm trying <laughs> but it's really really hard when I get an order not to jump and that's the that's the bad thing about everything being connected to where I live because it's like once I get an order I'm like I gotta go do it you know even though it's my downtime so this weekend I actually after it was a certain time I I didn't pack any of like my glitter orders and stuff like that which is really bothering me it bothered me all weekend I actually had a hard time sleeping because <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and package up those orders so that way they're ready to go off in the morning when it's time. <laughs> but I, I don't know if I can do it. I, I tried really hard this weekend. Anyways, <laughs> but as you guys remember, I started, um, <clears throat> somebody had reached out to me and wanted me to do my leather look. I, you know, oh my goodness, <laughs> my leather look with the black top, but she wanted cheetah print on the top here so this is what I ended up doing so yeah it was like a glitter base and then I had to tape off the paint down here do that you know epoxy it do the paint on the top so it was pretty pretty detail oriented but that's how that turned out I'm very happy with how that turned out and I used um Mr. Nola's glass coat on this one so let me see if I can get a close-up shot of it. I don't see any bubbles, do you? I know I don't. Beautiful. So I know a lot of you had a you know question like, um, how do you like it? And so I really, really like it. Like I said, I, I've been with Illumilite for years now. So it's like, I, I tend not to try other stuff because I've never had any issues with Illumilite, but this turned out absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, I mean, this isn't my coffee. My coffee is inside. I don't know. <laughs> but we have a lot of work to do as usual. Okay. <laughs> so I got this <laughs> and I'm ready to wake prep and slay all day. Let's do this. I think I'm going to start out in my craft area today. <laughs> kind of picking it up and I, it's I literally moved out here like I just pushed everything out here and didn't do anything <laughs> I didn't do a thing so I just been kind of working around garbage and stuff when when I come out here so I'm I'm kind of sick and tired of it so <laughs> today's the day I need shelves for my glitters because I mean not only do I have all my glitters that I want to have up but I mean I still have a ton of other glitters that I purchased throughout the years I mean I have tons of glitter from everywhere so obviously I'm still going to use that I'm not going to waste it you know what I mean so still going to be using that stuff too so I need my shelves back <laughs> I need all my glitter displayed so I can get to it my cat's trying to get in the garage even though he's not allowed out here so now he's scratching on the door <laughs> so let me clean up this area real quick and I have some places I got to go today so maybe I can get some more supplies to kind of organize a little bit better. So I um, have a glitter tray that I typically use when I do like when I mix up uh, samples of Glitters that I don't, you know, try to make for you guys and stuff like that. But I have a tray here and it's filled with just stuff that kind of fell over, spilled over. And my husband's like, you should, you should sell your, your spilled glitter. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. So basically what I do, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, <clears throat> what I do is I'll just fill it into, cause I keep all kinds of empty jars and stuff. Um, I'll just fill it and I let the kids have it. I, I let them play with it. So that, that's what I do with my leftover glitter. There's a lot there. <laughs> 
so it, it's so hard to um, have it go to waste. So I just give it to the kids. I think the number one thing when it comes to doing crafting is finding the time to be able to do anything. I know most of you work jobs and just trying to find the time to do your craft is really hard, but I just want you guys to know that you're doing an amazing job. Everything that you do, you are working hard, you are doing your absolute best, and you guys make such amazing work. You got this. Okay, that's done out there. <laughs> now I gotta come in here and box up some orders. Just so you guys know, hot pink is back. I finally got the rest of my supplies needed to mix it up, so just so you guys know, it's back, finally. All right, let's get these ordered. Oh, hold on, the kids are awake. <laughs> They're yelling at me. <laughs> All right, let's get these orders packed up. I want to thank every single one of you for being here, for believing in me, because I believe in you. Who knows where you'll be a year from now if you keep working hard. Trust me. I feel the same way every single day. I am so very lucky to have all of you here with me. So this is one of the things that uh, my dad has built. This is a rocking Harley that he actually built for uh, Sadie, our first daughter. So <laughs> we've had this for almost 13 years now and it has withstood the time. As you can see, it used to have a light there, you know, kids, but the little, the little, uh, saddle things on the saddle bags there have uh, lasted. I don't know how, but they did. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. The kids have absolutely loved using this thing all throughout the years. Even put little tassels in there and everything for them. So that's one of the things he has made for us over the years. I have a bunch of other stuff. I just have it kind of put away because I, you know, I don't want it to get messed up. This I'm keeping out because they enjoy using it, but it's, you know, these are things I want to try to keep, you know, for after they grow up and we have grandkids someday, which is a long ways away. I, I get it, but some of the stuff I just don't want them to break. So I only bring it out every once in a while, but this I keep out all the time. So we had to run out to do some errands and stuff like that, but I stopped at the dollar store and look what I found at the dollar store. Some of you probably already know about these at the dollar store. They were right in the makeup aisle because it's used for a silicone facial mask applicator. So dollar store, I got a couple of those. Now I had a hard time finding um, silicone spatulas because I wanted to get some new spatulas to mix my, my, uh, my silicone, my epoxy with, but I found some of these. So I'm gonna give these a try. Now that side is bigger, but there's a smaller side on it as well. So that way it's not so big. So it has two sides to it. I'll let you guys know how those work. <laughs> I figure I use them so much and I end up just throwing them out because they get so built up with epoxy and stuff like that if I don't clean them off after they've dried. So I'm gonna give these dollar store ones a shot. And I got some brushes uh, to put on my paints on my on my tumblers and stuff like that because I like to use uh, Christy Taylor's paints and she recommends a mop brush or you know it's something fluffy that's how you want to apply your paints it'll come out nice and smooth one coat so I'm going to try these out and see how well those work the brushes that I have work too but you know she recommends a, a thicker brush so I'm going to give that a try I just been using these so dollar store, you never know what you're gonna find for crafting. <laughs> All right, I moved on to my afternoon drink. See, th this is the one that she wanted, but with the with the cheetah, so, you know. <laughs> so I talked to my, my dad earlier and he, <laughs> he didn't know that I wanted to share his information, but why wouldn't I share his information, right? About how to get fancy things that he does. Um, oh, wait. Hey, look at that. Um, look at my background. I feel, um, you know, like <laughs> so fancy now. <laughs> it does all kinds of colors and stuff too. So I'll, I'll keep it on that. I don't want to uh, get anybody sick or anything <laughs> watching, watching it flicker around. <laughs> but he does have a Facebook page and he does have an email and stuff like that. So I'll put all that kind of stuff in the description below if you guys want to check out his his Facebook page. I told him he needs to spruce it up a little bit. 
Cause like I said, he's kind of old school. I'm actually shocked he uh, even started up a, a Facebook page and stuff like that. He's kind of new to doing that. So bear with him if you go on there. So he'll be putting more photos <laughs> in there for you guys and whatnot. But like I said, I, I don't know how much shipping is gonna be for him cause you know, he, he would be new to shipping stuff out, but I'm sure he'd be more than willing to work with you on that kind of stuff. So I'm more than happy to, to plug my dad, more than happy. I'm more, to, more than happy to plug my parents. So I'll, I'll put that in the description be below. W on the Knoll is his, uh, his little shop name that they came up with. So, all right, check it out. <laughs> It feels so good to finally be out here and to get my area straightened up because like I said, I've been so focused on my other stuff to be able to come out here and get my glitters all organized and my table so that way I can come out because I don't like, I know, I, I don't like working in a mess and I, you guys are probably looking at me like, excuse me. <laughs> It happens, you know, You're, you get to work in and you don't have time to clean up. I, I totally understand, but I just, I just can't do it. So it needed to be done. Finally <laughs> moved everything out here like a month ago. So now's the time. All right. So I'm going to be fit. I'm actually finishing up uh, that tutorial uh, tonight, tomorrow. So you guys probably be seeing that pretty soon. Hopefully you guys won't be sick of me. I posted Saturday, not today, and then I'll be posting again probably Tuesday. So <laughs> I'm just trying to catch up, okay? <laughs> All right. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.